Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. And once again, we are back at it. The one hand video recorder is back. All right, so this in this video, I'm going to show you how to basically remove. Let's say if you made a mistake like I did here. I made a mistake. Okay, cool. Um, basically, what we're going to do is I had to take out a lot of the color. I still got a lot of a lot more color left to take out. Um, so what I'm using is this little, I think this is what you call a seam ripper for sewing. Um, you can use anything just to kind of get up in there. All right, and I'm back. And I just wanted to let you guys know uh, with the seam ripper, that little plastic piece that I pointed to, you can use it to kind of scratch, scratch it off a little bit. Just be careful. Don't scratch too hard because if you scratch too hard, the burlap is going to come up. But you're going to feel it. Just kind of play around with it. Uh, the more you fail, the more you learn. You know how the story go. So just get up in there. All right, all right. And as you see, I removed all of the color from the back part of it. It did leave a lot of holes, as you could tell. Since this is burlap, you know, um, it is what it is with burlap. It's going to leave a lot of holes. But since we're going to fix this this those holes as you can see you can see through the back you know what i'm saying um but since we're going to fix it up the only thing you have to do is put another piece of burlap over top of it since it is a fairly inexpensive uh material you know you're not really wasting too much um i put another layer of burlap on here all right so now that the part where it had the holes um, I got another layer of burlap, so I'm just going to go over it with my punch needle. All right, now you do have two different ways, two different options in order to patch that hole up, as you saw in the beginning. Um, the first method I'm going to show you is the punch needle method. Yes, this method does take a little while to, um, you know what I'm saying, to basically do. But what you see, I got the little color schemes right there. We got light blue, we got red, purple, and all those colors. Make sure you, you know what I'm saying, you relabel um, on your new, um, your new, your new fabric or whatever. You relabel what colors you got to put in there. And then you could just, you could start it off with the punch needle. It's going to take a little longer, but, you know, it's a little more secure. Um, but then at the same time, the, the tough thing is, is secure as well. So I'm going to show you that next. So it's whatever you choose. All right, so this is the, um, let's say, for example, you're getting tired of punch needling. Um, just, you know what I'm saying, you can go back in there with your, your cut pal toughening gun. Go back over everything, you know what I'm saying. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And just use that as your guide. And you can clearly see right through it, so you're not going to make any mistakes. It's fairly simple. Um, this is another method that I use in regards to repairing a hole. So just keep going. Just follow the outline that you've been doing. Just continue to tuft. These voiceovers are hard because I don't even know what to say. But I'm going to keep talking. You you guys kind of get the gist. But there is a part that I want to get to. I'm kind of waiting upon. Um, just to let you know. I'm going to show the front part of it in just a little bit. But look at that. Look at how they go. Look at, look at, this, look at the tufting though. Look at how the... Cut pal, tough the gun works, y'all. This is dope. All right, so I'm about to cut to the front in a little bit. So just stay tuned. All right, here we go. The camera slowly. There we go. The, the camera slowly turning. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I had a high intensity light right there. Okay, but yeah, this is how it looks from the front, y'all. You see that? Yeah, nice and crispy. Yes, sir. That's dope. All right, y'all. So as you see, I just cut out the uh, the other half of the burlap that I patched it up with because I gotta still put the black in this area. All right, but this other side is pretty good, really good. Patched up a couple holes on this side here. All right, that's how that looks so far. I still gotta clean it up a little bit. Looking good, looking good, looking good. All right. 
All right, and we are all done. The only thing I have to do is put the backing on this joint. Um, you see, this is the patch. I cut all the surrounding burlap outside of it, put the black on it, of course. And it's, you know, it's on there. It's pretty much on there. This is how the front looks. I still gotta shave it up a little bit. Gotta shave it up a little bit. See if I can zoom out the But yeah, once I finish, it's gonna be official tissue. All right, make sure you guys hit the like button, comment, subscribe, what you want to see more of. Peace, 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 peace. All right, y'all. Now, what I have for you next is some bonus footage. This uh, footage I should have made into another video, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you all this bonus footage in this one video because it's your boy shadow i gotta hook y'all up with the best top notch content so that you just you're hitting them you're hitting the ground running with this new information that you're learning so i back my stuff with the 663 henry you can use any any kind of latex carpet adhesive backing that you want um i just happen to live across the street from a lowe's home improvement so that's what i use <laughs> So it is what it is. I love it. But one thing about this stuff is stinks. It stinks very bad. So you got to make sure you guys are wearing like a mask or some kind of thing. Or make sure you're working in a well-ventilated area because you don't want to get a headache. Uh, you don't want to be passing out from this stuff. That'll suck. That'll slow up your bread. So make sure you guys are wearing a mask. Also, um, when working with this stuff, you see I'm wearing gloves. Make sure you got your gloves on. I just dip my hand, grab a whole bunch of it. And I like slab it on as you see from the video. Now I put the backing on while the adhesive is on, you know what I'm saying, the back of the rug. So I put the my felt, I use felt. And instead of like having to cut it out, using hot glue, this, that, and the third, I just do it one step. It dries in one day. It saves me a lot of time and it's so clean when you when it comes time for, you know what I'm saying, to cut it out and to shave and all that other stuff. Because I don't have to use as I don't have to use any hot glue or nothing like that to kind of secure the felt onto the back because the back is already supported by the, the 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 glue. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I'm doing in this on this clip, I'm just applying the felt onto the back and I'm smoothing it out with my hands, making sure I'm going over all the little joints, all the little cracks and crevices so that that glue gets all up in that felt. As you see, you can you can kind of see the outline of the rug on the back here. And once again, thanks to all my subscribers. I do appreciate you guys. We're on a road to 1 million. Like, continue to like, comment, share, subscribe. I got more free content for you. If you click the link in my website, the, the description box below, I got free ebooks, free all types of stuff. So continue to join, continue to enjoy this ride. Thank you for supporting the Go Get a Types community. Love you. Peace.